Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. This time we're going to have a look at how to add a Microsoft list to a channel in Microsoft Teams. You can add a new list or an existing one to the channel to make it easier for your team to access the data. We'll look at how to create new lists and how to add existing ones. And if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you about a couple of issues I found when I was using this feature. Once your list appears in Teams, you can work with it just like you would if it was in the browser and it looks and feels exactly the same. To add a list to your team, you choose a channel and then add the list as a tab. And the easiest way to do that is to go directly to the channel. I'm gonna to go to the retail team and then the sales channel and I'm gonna choose the plus button up here. The add a tab window appears and you should see the list app on the left hand side here. If you don't, go up to the search bar and just type lists. When you choose it, a new window appears and asks you to save. You press save and the new tab will be added to the channel called lists. You can rename this later if you want to. But down here, we have the option to either create a list or add an existing one. We'll look at both of those in turn now. To add a new list, choose create a list and then you'll see the create a list page. You can either create a blank list, import one from Excel, or use an existing list that's already in SharePoint. And you'll see a list of templates that you can choose from below. We've already done a video on creating lists, so I won't cover that in detail here. But if you wanna watch that, then just hit the link in the top right corner now, and I'll put it into the description as well. So just for fun, let's choose one of the templates. I'm gonna choose event itinerary, and it shows me what the columns in the list will look like. And then I just choose use template. Then I give my list a title, a description, a color, and an icon. And then I press create. I'll now see my list presented in the tab in my channel, and I can hit the new button and start adding data. It also named the tab event itinerary, and I can change that by pulling this menu down and choosing rename. So that's how you add a new list. Now let's add an existing list. So to do that, we go through the same process. You go to the channel, press the plus button, choose the list app and then save. This time though, we choose the add an existing list below. And now you'll see two options. The first one is to use a SharePoint link. And the second is to choose a list from the team. To use a SharePoint link, you just need to paste in the link of the list into the field here. You can get a link from the list app or from a SharePoint site. For example, if I switch to my browser now and I go to the list app, I can open a list called customers. Then I can copy the link by clicking into the field and doing a control C or a command C if you're on a Mac. Then I go back to Teams, I paste in the link and press the arrow button. That will add a new tab called customers with my customers list here below. The second option is to add a list that's already in the team. In this team, I have lists called retail accounts, asset manager, stores, and so on. And all I have to do is choose the list I want to see. In this case, I'm going to choose stores and I'm done. Lastly, a couple of troubleshooting tips. First of all, there's no way to reconfigure the list tab once it's been added. If you wanna make changes, you're just gonna to have to delete the tab and then add it again. Next, don't try to add one of your private lists that are stored in OneDrive to Teams. That doesn't work at all. For example, if I go to the list app and choose one of the lists that's in my lists, which is OneDrive, and then copy the link into Teams, I just see a 404 file not found error. And lastly, be careful when you're pasting links to lists that live outside of your team. Adding a link doesn't change the permissions to the list. So if you paste in a link from another team, people won't see the data unless they're in that team too. For example, if I paste a link to a list in the engineering team, this one here is called Issue Tracker, and I paste it into the retail team, 
then people in the retail team won't see the list unless they're members of the engineering team too, or they have access to the list. If I look at this from Megan's point of view, she sees the issue tracker tab in retail, but doesn't see the data. This is because she's not a member of the engineering team and doesn't have access to the list. Okay, so that's how you add your Microsoft lists to channels in Teams. I hope that was useful. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel because we post twice a week. I'll see you next time.